Good evening. I'm Eric Keaton, one of the assistant principals of Greenwood County High School. At this time, I would like to thank each of you for joining us as we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. At this time, Staff Sergeant Kayla Johnson and Staff Sergeant Bianca Mason will present the American flag and the Commonwealth of Kentucky flag. This will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by co-valedictorian Kobe Hunt and the performance of the national anthem by Ms. Zaley Keaton. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled band Thank you, Staff Sergeant Johnson and Mason and Ms. Keaton. At this time, we would like to welcome Ms. Stacy Hamilton as she sings My Old Kentucky Home. This evening, Greenham County High School would like to dedicate Ms. Hamilton's performance of My Old Kentucky Home in the memory of Mr. Jack McLeese. Oh, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the people are gay. Where the corn tops are ripe and the meadows in the bloom, while the birds make music all the day. The young folk roll on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by, hard times come a knocking at the door in my whole Kentucky home. Good night. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my whole Kentucky for my whole Kentucky home far away. Thank you, Ms. Hamilton. At this time, Greenham County High School would also like to recognize graduates who are entering the military. 
Following graduation, Alex Baker, United States Marine Corps. Ryan Hunt, United States Marine Corps. Gavin Mason, United States Marine Corps. Hannah Rice, United States Marine Corps. Madison Ruggles, United States Marine Corps. Ethan Steger, Army National Guard. Justin Virgin, United States Marine Corps. Elijah Westfall, United States Marine Corps. Thank you. Welcome to the 46th Annual Commencement Ceremony for Greenham County High School as we honor the graduating class of 2020. At this time, Principal Jason Smith would like to welcome you. Welcome parents, guardians, and graduates of the Greenup County High School Class of 2020. Seniors, we are going to end our journey together the same way it began the first day of your freshman year in this very gymnasium. Welcome Greenup County High School Class of 2020. For just a moment, take a look around and see the powerful support system you have in your lives. Take a look at those who have sacrificed, loved, cared for, and encouraged you the last 18 years of your life. Now consider each other as you make the transformation from students to graduates. You spent the last four years experiencing life together. Cherish those moments and cherish your classmates. Before we conclude this wonderful celebration, I'd like to share just a few reminders with our graduates. Plan for tomorrow, but enjoy today, the here and the now. Spend your time doing what you should do. This leaves no room for you to do what you shouldn't do. Be the person you thought you would be when you were younger. If you worry about having enough, you will never have enough. Experience more happiness than drama in your life. There is no one definition of success. Remember to love learning for the sake of learning and not for the accumulation of points. You will have a greater appreciation of your high school experience the older you get. Learn to embrace imperfection. Understand the difference between a crisis and an inconvenience. The simplest gift you can give others is your smile. You will soon grow to value everything your parents or guardians have been telling you for the last 18 years. They are much smarter than you think. You really don't have to post, tag, tweet, Snapchat, record, or Instagram every aspect of your life. Occasionally, put your phone down, look others in the eye, and have a conversation from time to time. Lastly, you are a class that will be remembered. You have sacrificed many things that other graduates of this school have never been asked to let go of. This has been hard, but you have done it with grace, understanding, and class. Years from now, when the class of 2020 gathers on a Friday night to attend a home football game and participate in a class reunion, many stories will be told and shared. Reminiscing about all the things you have been through over the past few months will become fond memories and will solidify the special bond that you have with fellow graduates and your community. Congratulations to the Greenup County High School Class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Now let us welcome Ms. Tracy Moracy, the superintendent of Greenup County Schools. Ms. Moracy will deliver the superintendent's address. Dear graduate class of 2020, what an interesting year it has been, a year of many firsts, but your class is no stranger to change and adversity. It has come to my attention that many of you were born near the date in history of 9-11. You arrived on this earth during a historical moment of uncertainty, and there was a new normal in America. When time came for you to enroll in school, you were old enough to understand, so you learned about historical moments through guest speakers, videos, ceremonies, memorials, documentaries, and moments of silence. It's become a symbolic moment in history and tragically brought our nation together. So here we are again on March 13th, 
your senior year changed dramatically. You went from packed calendars of events, friends, and day-to-day -day happenings to a strict stay-at-home order. It was the ultimate grounding, and it has created an unfair situation. Fortunately, how you respond to the true outcome of this moment is who you will be. And yes, you are a part of history. You will tell your kids and grandkids about how life was before the pandemic and how it came from nowhere and suddenly designer masks were a thing. You have a chance to tell your story, but how will you tell it? When faced with challenges and adversity, you can either find the best in the situation or be defeated. As a musketeer, I challenge you to find the positive and strength that you learned about yourself during this time. I challenge you to reflect on your many talents. God gives each of you a purpose and a talent, and it only grows deeper and stronger after high school. Is your talent compassion? Are you meant to lift others up and strengthen a community? Is your talent patience, where you have a natural gift with children or the elderly who need extra care? Is your talent in nature, where you can make anything grow and get any animal to warm up to you? Is your talent in creating beautiful art or music? Can you make an engine hum or rewire a circuit and create a spark? Can you make an incredible TikTok that provides good belly laughs for a friend? Find your talent, because if you can spend the rest of your life doing what you love, you will never work a single day the rest of your life. Along the way in your school career, someone took notice of your gifts. In December, long before the pandemic, yes, before the pandemic, we planned a surprise for your graduation. We asked teachers and staff members to choose students of the graduating class and to write them a note of encouragement. You will see that some notes come all the way back from elementary school. Yes, they remember you, and more importantly, they know you have a bright future. So dig deep, find the very best in this situation. In other words, have grit, have perseverance. Believe in yourself just as others have believed in you. Remember that you are loved by your musketeer family, and you will always be a musketeer. Thank you, Ms. Moracy. At this time, let us welcome Senior Mackenzie Collins. She will be seeing Cola. Tonight, Mackenzie is being ac accompanied on guitar by her older brother, Rob, Mr. Rob Collins, a Greenup County High School English teacher. I look back upon my time See the snapshots of my life You will not be surprised To see your name across my smile See your name across my smile And I will remember you I will remember you I will
thank you, Mackenzie and Rob. At this time, please welcome a member of the class of 2020, Sophia Shoemaker. This evening, Sophia will read Maya Angelou's On the Pulse of Morning. A rock, a river, a tree, host a species long since departed, marked the mastodon, the dinosaur who left dry tokens of their sojourn here. On our planet floor, any broad alarm of their hastening doom is lost in the gloom of dust and ages. But today, the rock cries out to us, clearly, forcefully. Come, you may stand on my back and face your distant destiny. But seek no haven in my shadow. I will give you no hiding place down here. You, created only a little lower than the angels, have crouched long in the bruising darkness, have lain too long, face down in ignorance. Your mouth spilling words, armed for her. The rock cries out to us today. You stand on me, but do not hide your face. Across the wall of the world, a river sings a beautiful song. It says, come rest here by my side. Each of you a bordered country, delicate and strangely made proud, yet thrusting perpetually under siege, your armed struggles for profit, have left colors of waste upon my shore, currents of debris upon my breast, yet today I call you to my riverside. If you will study war no more, come clad in peace, and I will sing the songs the Creator gave to me when I and the tree and the rock were one, before cynicism was a bloody sear across your brow, and when you yet knew you still knew nothing. The river sings and sings on. There's a true yearning to respond to, the singing river and the wise rock. So say the Asian, the Hispanic, the Jew, the African, the Native American, the Sioux, the Catholic, the Muslim, the French, the Greek, the Irish, the rabbi, the priest, the sheik, the gay, the straight, the preacher, the privileged, the homeless, the teacher. They all hear the speaking of the tree. They hear the first and last of every tree speak to humankind today. Come to me, here beside the river. Plant yourself beside me, here beside the river. Each of you, descendant of some past on traveler, has been paid for. You who gave me my first name, you Pawnee, Apache, Seneca, you Cherokee Nation, who rested with me then, forced on bloody feet, left me the employment of other seekers, desperate for gain, starving for gold. You, the Turk, the Arab, the Swede, the German, the Eskimo, the Scot. You, the Ashanti, the Yoruba, the crew, bought, sold, stolen, arriving on a nightmare, praying for a dream. Here, root yourselves beside me. I am that tree planted by the river, which will not be moved. I, I, the rock, I, I, the river, I, the tree, I'm yours. Your passages have been paid. Lift up your faces. You have a piercing need for this bright morning dawn for you. History, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlipped. But if faced with courage, need not be lived again. Lift up your eyes upon this day breaking for you. Give birth again to the dream. Women, children, men, take it into the palms of your hands. Mold it and shape your most private need. Sculpt it in the image of your most public self. Lift up your hearts. Each new hour holds new chances for new beginnings. Do not be wedded forever to fear yoked eternally to brutishness. The horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change here on the pulse of this fine day. You may have the courage to look up and out upon me, the rock, the river, the tree. Your country, no less to Midas than the medicant, no less to you than now the mastodon then. Here on the pulse of this new day, you may have the grace to look up and out onto your sister's eyes and into your brother's face, your country, and very simply say with hope, good morning. Thank you, Sophia. Now, our salutatorian Ashley Boggs will deliver her address entitled, Let It Be. Hello, students, school board members, teachers, parents, and friends. I would like to thank all of you for watching today. 
You have all had a profound impact on the development of the students being celebrated today. And on the behalf of the class of 2020, I thank you all for the efforts you have invested to this day. There is no doubt that today we are celebrating on uncertain terms. This is not how we wanted our senior year to come to an end. We have missed out on valuable time meant to be spent together, making memories before we head out into the adult world. Although we have lost so much during these unsettling times, we have gained so much more. I want to ask you some questions and please answer them to yourselves. Have you had more family dinners than usual? Have you reached out to a friend that you had drifted apart from? Have you bonded a little closer with your family? Have you found a new hobby or picked up on an old one? Have you helped out your community? You see, in the real world, we are constantly going to have doors shut in our faces all throughout life. However, there will always be another door ready to be opened. There will always be a chance for something greater. We have learned to lose, to adapt, and to be strong throughout these last three months. Class of 2020, my wish for you is that you will see the bigger picture. It is that you will have realized how much you have gained from what you have lost. Take that and you will be prepared for anything that life throws at you. We must be ready for whatever comes at us next. So class of 2020, I'll leave you with this quote from the song Let It Be by the Beatles. And when the broken hearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Co-valedictorian Mackenzie Collins will now deliver her address entitled, The Long and Winding Road. Good evening and welcome. When looking back on our lives, high school is such a short amount of time. The past four years, well, three and a half spent within these walls will soon become a memory. As the days pass, those memories will fade, but they will never be forgotten. You will not be forgotten. Each and every single one of you will be with me like a handprint on my heart from now until the end of time. As I look out and imagine my fellow graduates, I see the endless opportunities that are yet to come. The potential I see in each of you is insurmountable and cannot be dimmed or taken away. In these strange times, you may think the very worst of yourself and what is yet to come, but you are important and worthy simply by existing. I know that feeling of uncertainty and how consuming it can be, but I'm here today in spite of that. We are all here today standing together as graduates, despite the distance between us. The life we lead will be a long and winding road filled with bumps, stops, and hitches along the way, but we must go on. Someday soon, we will all find our place in the world, wherever that may be. When I pass you in a store or see your face flash across the screen of my phone, I don't just see what you are today. I see what your future may consist of. Among me, there are future doctors, linemen, bankers, actors, senators, teachers, and many more. We are the future not only for our community, but for our nation as well. We've been given the opportunity to make a difference and the tools to succeed. Together, we can make this world a better place, one step at a time. I'm so incredibly grateful for my time spent here, and I'm so fortunate to have been given the opportunity to be a part of something bigger than myself. The friendships I've made over the years will last me a lifetime, and those teachers who've become my mentors have taught me more than any book ever could. We all leave here today ready to start the next chapter of our lives, ready to take the plunge into adulthood. And while it may be scary, we are not alone. I won't lie to you. I'm scared for what is to come, but I know I will have my friends and family to rely on when things get hard. To quote Gandhi, there are no goodbyes for us. Wherever you are, you will always be in my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Mackenzie. Co-valedictorian Kobe Hunt will now deliver his address entitled, High Gone. As you may have predicted, I'm going to be speaking on the Rubik's Cube. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not doing a speech on this. Wait, just a sec. For those of you that know me, you, can, you know I can't leave a cube unsolved. Now, let's get to the speech. Good evening, GCHS faculty, friends, family, and most importantly, graduates. I would like to say congratulations to all of you from the bottom of my heart. Also, I am sorry that we are graduating under these unforeseen 
and unfortunate circumstances. However, I would like to advise you not to let the coronavirus rob you of anything else. I would like to thank some people. Thank you, God, for always protecting and guiding me. Thank you, teachers, for pushing me. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Ireland, and Carter, for motivating me. Thank you to all of the graduates for giving me some of the best memories of my life. In life, it is important to set goals. Some people have one big goal, some have many aspirational goals, and some have admirable goals. As many of you know, I like hiking. I believe that hiking is like goal setting in many ways. It is a good idea to have a destination when you are hiking. You want to be at a location at a specific time, and usually you have a reason for hiking, whether it be to see beautiful scenery or to maintain that six pack. When you, get a, when you set a goal, you want to accomplish a certain thing. You have a time that you want it to be done by, and you have a reason for the goal. When you're thinking of a goal, just think about what you want to accomplish, the end destination. Sometimes hikes are hard. You might have to climb across a ledge huh, at Cabin. But whatever the difficulty is, as long as you believe you can do it, you can. A few months ago, I went hiking with my sister. My sister looked like she was walking down a street in New York. I mean, she had a full body coat on with the fur on the hood. She looked like a fashion designer. Just to preface, my sister is never going hiking with me again. I think that's more her decision than mine, though. When we got to Red River Gorge, we realized that we would have to walk two and a half miles to get to the start of the trail. OK, no big deal, right? I want to give you a huge tip. Wherever you are going, go with all your heart. Or whatever goal you are trying to reach, put your heart into it. Go all in. On this hike at Red River Gorge, we walked down a gravel road, which isn't the most pleasant on your feet. We walked for 2.7 long miles. I guess Apple Maps gets more specific the closer you are to your destination. Then we finally reached the trailhead and discussed which destination we wanted to see. We decided to see this place called Double Arch. So that meant we had to take a maintenance road to get there, unless we wanted to hike an extra five miles. This road was another two miles long. There were times on the main gravel road that my sister said, we should turn around. I said, no, come on. When we finally walked the maintenance road, our feet were hurting. And again, she said, let's turn around. I said, no, we are so close. All of the gravel roads caused a struggle for us. Just like many goals, struggles are involved. Persistence helps you reach your goals. If you keep showing up and working to achieve your goals, you will keep chipping away, and you will achieve them. Once we got off the gravel roads, we finally were on a dirt trail. When hiking, there are some steep inclines, cliffs, and quite honestly, you can get into some sketchy situations. But you must hike on to reach your destination. We hiked the, to the double arch. You can see the double arch from down below once you get to the hill. And then it disappears behind the hill, and then it is visible again. The same is true, is true with a goal you are trying to achieve. You can see the destination or hints of it along the way, but you haven't reached it yet. Sometimes the end goal seems so far away, but eventually you will come upon the last few steps to achieve your goal. Everything will be laying before you, clear as day, like 2020 vision. All you have to do is keep chipping away. Very close to the double arch is a big rock that looks like a snake's head. It is uncanny. We climbed straight up this rock, and there was the double arch. It was amazing. Water had carved a second arch above the first big arch. We took pictures of the view and the arches and just chilled up there for a while. And we left and walked 5.3 miles back to the car. When we were on the final stretch and could see the cars, my sister ran back to the car because she was so tired of walking. Since reaching the destination, the double arch, I have realized a couple of things. Number one, the destination or the goal is not what is most important. If we were unable to make it to the double arch, that would have been OK. We may have still seen Snake's Head or the double arch from down below. Or maybe we wouldn't have seen those cool things. But it would still be OK. Even if we would not have reached the destination, we would have enjoyed the journey. We would have memories to look back on. The same goes for setting a goal. Maybe you won't reach it, but you'll, ha but you'll enjoy the process. And you will have built character through the trials the goal gave you. You will be better for it. You'll have better chances of accomplishing your next goal, you said. When we reached the double arch, there wasn't a perfect sunset, sunrise, or the perfect cloud picture. That's OK. We reached the destination, finally. What I'm trying to say is sometimes the destination of a goal isn't what you thought it would be. And sometimes it's 10 times better than what you expected. The second thing I realized, well, I already knew, is to pray when you're scared. There were some times on the hike that I thought, I hope there isn't a big bear down in this ravine. I hope we make it back before dark. I hope we don't run into someone with bad intentions. I prayed, and God took care of us. The next time you think of a goal, believe in yourself, and you will reach it. Put your heart into it. Be persistent with your goal. Show up every day and chip away at it. 
Go out there and achieve your goals. And if you don't, at least you enjoy the process. And you're better because you showed up and tried. You're better for next time. And remember, when you're feeling scared, pray. Graduates, we reached the destination. We missed some of the scenery along the way, such as prom, senior breakfast, senior awards, walking through our previous schools in the last few weeks of our senior year. But that's okay, guys. We made it. We are about to be graduates of Green County High School. This isn't the perfect sunset, guys and gals, but it is a sunset. We are ready for the next goal, the next chapter in our lives, the next hike, if you will. I have been extremely honored to speak before all of you as a co-valedictorian for the class of 2020, and I would like to say congratulations to all of you. I wish you all nothing but the best. I hope you all have that 2020 vision in 2020 and beyond. Hike on. Thank you. Thank you, Kobe. Superintendent Tracy Moracy and Principal Jason Smith will now present diplomas to the graduating class of 2020. Colin James Adams. Isaac James Adkins. Caitlin Renee Adkins. Caitlin Paige Anderson. Callie Nicole Angel. Hunter Bradley Arrowwood. Congratulations.
Isaiah James Wayne R. Tripp. Congratulations, Isaiah. Kinsley Grace Bear. Congratulations. Alex Lee Baker. Congratulations, Alex. Emily Danielle Barber. Congratulations, Emily. Imogen Violet. Barker. Hayden Michaela Raven Berry. Congratulations. Stephen Zane Bauer. Congratulations, Zane. Jordan Ryan. Bays. Emily Sheridan Renee Bennett. Congratulations. <laughs> you get one by yourself. Brett Ashley.
Ashton Bentley. Congratulations, Britt. Baron Paige Bentley. Congratulations, Baron. Hey, Baron. Get the X right there. Jason Brock Blevins. Congratulations, Brock. Can I get a picture with him? Now he gets a solo. It's a complicated thing. <laughs> Ashley Brooke. Boggs. Congratulations, Ashley. Ethan Cutler Bossenberger. Congratulations, Ethan. Congratulations. Get some pictures. You can hop in there. You can. Which one with you, too? <laughs> now hit a solo, Ethan. Sierra Hope Boyd. Congratulations. Cademan Perry Brewer. Congratulations, Caden. Carly Nicole Brown. Congratulations, Carly. Congratulations. There you go. Tabitha Sue Brown. Congratulations. Brady Duncan Burchett. Congratulations, Brady.
Bryce Allen Burgess. Danielle Cheyenne Burton. <laughs> Caitlin Jessamy Burton. Alexis Grace Carroll. Alexis Hope Chafin. Brandon Sean Chapman. David Alexander Chapman. Kristen Hunter Ray Cole. Mackenzie Blair. Collins.
Bradley James Conley. Colby Dwayne Conley. Congratulations, Colby. Zotzi Valeska Conley. Congratulations. Dakota Ryan Cox. Ethan Blake Cox. Brandon Kyle Kraft. Kyra Joe Craft. Congratulations. Jacob Michael Crumb. Valerie Christina Davidson. Congratulations.
Rodrell Antonio Dryden. Congratulations. Mark Anthony Elkins the second. Tanner Wesley Ooten. Austin Zachary Dane Evans. Congratulations. Congratulations, all. Summer Nicole Fairchild. Congratulations. Adam Hunter. Flutie. Cole Samuel French. Connor Ray French.
Jacob Scott Ferner. Austin Blake Gillum. Congratulations, Austin. Austin Wayne Gillum. Michael Lee Gold. Richard Douglas Green. Renee Gumbert. Jared Dwayne Gumbert. Shelby Lynn Gunter. Messing you up. Okay. 
Sydney Shane Gunter. Lauren Ashley Hanna. Congratulations, Lauren. Rachel Lee Harris. Congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel. Micah Dawn Henderson. Hayden Alvin Sigal Hensley. Stephen Randall Hockley. Congratulations, Stephen. Harley Elizabeth Holder. Congratulations. Austin James Holland. Congratulations.
J.C. Dawn Holsinger. Congratulations. Dominic Matthew Ray Hunt. Congratulations, Dominic. Colby Lemanuel Hunt. Congratulations, Colby. Ryan Lee Hunt. Congratulations, Ryan. Brianna Grace Jackson. Congratulations, Grace. Kelsey Grace Johnson. Jessica Aline Jones. Austin Blake Jordan. Griffin Wayne Keaton.
Caleb Lee Kidd. Kyle Ray Kilburn. Lila Elizabeth Coons. Tanner Ashton Lacey. Kirsten Leanne Lamaster. Daryl Christopher Locklear. Mason Blade Lions. Gavin Joseph. Mason. Frank Isaac Massey.
Dylan Matthew Mays. Chesney McLeese. Melissa Cheyenne McGee. Damian Blake McGlone. Kimberly Cheyenne McKenzie. Kenneth Donald Wesley Meadows. Kylie Marie Monteith. Hayden John Lee Mulkey. Brady Owen Nelson. Congratulations, Brady.
Lorraine Nyderick. Rebecca Leanne Owens. Mackenzie Cheyenne Petrie. Morgan Leslie Phillips. David Keith. Potter the second. Grace Elizabeth Potter. Preston Brian Purdy. Autumn Brianne Quain. Abigail Joe Quillen.
Rose Ramsey. Hannah Auburn Rice. Emily Desiree Riggs. Alexis Marie Riley. Jasmine Brooke Riley. Cameron Trey Robbins. Thank you. 
Jaden Lee Robinson. Jacob Daniel Rowe. Rebecca Lynn Rowe. Kenton Charles Rose. Madison Kinley Ruggles. Madison Eva Ashley Salyers. Tyler Seth Salyers. Hunter Salmons.
Gregory Charles Scaff. Gabriel Bry Sexton. Dylan Dawson Shearer. Sophia Elizabeth Shoemaker. Congratulations, Sophia. Cheyenne Lee Skeens. Wyatt Lee Slifer. Congratulations, Wyatt. Adam Ray Smith. Alicio Smith. Charles Wayne Sparks, Jr.
Destiny Renee Spradlin. Congratulations, Destiny. Ethan Matthias Steger. Jenna Hope. Stevens. Congratulations, Jenna. William Stevenson, Jr. Seth Ryan Stith. Dustin Edward Strimple. Andrew Bradley Stoltz. Jackson Lee Sweeney. Spencer Braden Tackett.
Nathaniel Mark Taylor. Kirsten Rayanne Thayer. Caleb Russell Thompson. Justin Ray Virgin. Elizabeth Marie Vito. Be careful. William Tyler Webb. Gregory Bryce Wells.
Jeremy Thomas West. Elijah Matthew Westfall. Gavin Ray Witt. Sydney Ray Williams. Jenna Christine Wireman. Keith William Womack. Ian Christian Woods. Jesse Taylor Woods. McKenna Page Wright.
Trevor Ross Wright. Haley Lynn York. At this time, Ms. Tracy Moracy, Superintendent, and Mrs. Mary K. McGinnis Ruark, Chairperson of the Board of Education, will confer the class of 2020 as graduates. By the power invested in me as the Chairperson of the Greenup County Board of Education, I would like to confer your high school diplomas. I am proud to congratulate each of you. You have successfully completed the requirements set forth in the Commonwealth of Kentucky for high school students. Congratulations. We have reached the conclusion of our ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2020. Mm -hmm.